Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a what I got for Christmas video. If I sound really funny, it's because I have a cold, which is why this video is so late. I wanted to try and get it up though, so I've dosed up on painkillers and we're gonna try and get through it. There might be a few more cuts than usual though, as I cough or take a sip of Lemsip or something like that, um, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm not going to go in any particular order, although I will probably leave the larger things to last. And the first gift I'm going to share with you is this beautiful Cordley gift set. And I thought this was so beautiful. I'm a really big fan of Cordley. I love their skincare products. And this has three products inside. It was presented a lot nicer than this, but I've since taken everything out. And the first item is this hand and nail cream. And then you also get a lip balm. And then you get a pretty large uh, vine body butter as well. And I have the exfoliator version of this and it's so lovely. So I was really excited to receive this, such a lovely gift. And the packaging, which is gorgeous, even the tissue paper is pretty much the prettiest tissue paper I've ever seen. I couldn't believe how lovely that was, so I thought that was gorgeous. I realised I started with my main presents first and I probably should have started with my stocking stuffers so that is what I'm going to do now and the first gift I got on my stocking stuffer was this beautiful trio of lip balms from EOS and these are three flavours which I don't think I've tried before. I have the colours but I feel like sometimes they change the flavours including a honey apple which is the pink stripy one which I'm so excited about so I thought this was just the perfect gift. My jar of EOS lip balms is getting depleted somewhat so this will hopefully bring it back up to the top and I'm just so excited about these. I also got a ton of chocolate, some of which I've already eaten, but what I haven't gotten to yet is a Terry's chocolate orange and also some lint, which I will probably be tucking into tomorrow. Then I got a couple of super fancy stocking stuffers. The first one is this YSL lipstick, and I've really been into wearing colour on my lips more in the last couple of months, and so I got given this beautiful YSL lipstick in this amazing red color and this is the number one I think so this is supposed to be the classic red and it just looks gorgeous so I can't wait to try this out I might actually even wear this tonight it's New Year's Eve tonight uh, so I might give this a go then but I thought this was so lovely and so perfect for my new kind of bold lip phase and then the last stocking stuffer I got was this super cool Harry Potter t-shirt and we're both really big Harry Potter fans and Dan actually bought one of his friends a onesie for Christmas because he's just had a little baby girl with his wife and it was the cutest thing it said snuggle this muggle just adorable and I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and dad knows I'm a big fan of Harry Potter clothing I also have a Ravenclaw sweater and I have a key ring from there when I went to Universal Studios and I just love Harry Potter so he got me this t-shirt just to lounge around in and it says expecto patronum and I thought that was super cool and the t-shirt's really soft and yeah just a really fun one so I can't wait to wear this on lounging lazy days. I also got this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum and I have been trying the pot version of this and I've been loving it and clearly I've gone on about it enough that I was given this and I'm not exactly sure how this differs from the eye cream. I assume it being a serum is just more concentrated. I'm so excited to try this. I've mentioned in previous videos that I really want to focus on my skin this year, especially my eye area which has really been suffering so I can't wait to try this out. I thought it was such a great gift um, and yeah just perfect for kind of my New Year's resolutions I guess. So so, so excited about this. I also got this really beautiful Dior nail polish and I own two other colors in this range and I love them both so much. So I was so pleased to have received this. It's the most beautiful glitter I think I've ever seen. It looks like snow, but really glittery snow. So it's this really kind of shimmery and um, pale glitter and it's just so, so lovely. I can't wait to wear it. I'm a huge fan of glitter nail polish. You can probably tell I have some on my nails today and I thought this was just so unbelievably beautiful. Uh, I will try and find links to everything. I assume a lot of this is available online, um, but I'll link to what I can down below. Uh, but I thought that was really, really lovely. From my brother and his wife, I got this absolutely amazing box. And when I first opened it, I just saw um, three products and it's actually chock full of products. I just saw three though, which I was more than happy with. Um, they're all NARS and they were just amazing. I was so, so pleased. And then I kind of put the um, lid back on and then my brother was like, are you gonna open the rest? And it had, I think, three layers of NARS products, which is just insane. I can't believe how generous they were. Um, and I kind of destroyed the packaging now 
now, but basically it's all these different NARS products and I love NARS. It's probably my favorite makeup brand. And so inside I have the makeup removing water, which looks like so. I then have the double refining exfoliator. I have the gentle cream cleanser. I have a huge version of the NARS Orgasm Blush and this is one of my favorite blushes of all time. And it's just an absolute massive version, which is incredible. I didn't even know they did these. And then a dual intensity blush as well. It's amazing, beautiful deep shades. And then also a eyeliner from the Sarah Moon collection as well. And I just could not believe it when I saw everything. It was just ridiculously generous of them. So I think they do watch my videos. So thank you so much if you're watching. Um, I was really blown away by just how amazing it was. So yeah, an incredible gift from my brother and his lovely wife. And then my next gift is a really amazingly lovely one. And it's this Kate Spade watch. And this is the box that kind of comes in a fancy um, opening lid one um, but the watch itself is here and it looks just like a normal watch you know it's a very very beautiful watch it has um, pearl pink leather and then it has this gold watch face um, but it's actually a smart watch and I had previously looked at the Apple watches but kind of dismissed them because as much as I liked the functionality I just knew that the style wasn't really me and I just didn't think I'd end up wearing it much and I didn't even know they did smart watches but this one is a smart watch so you download the app and then it monitors things like how much you sleep how many steps you walk and you even have a countdown as well so you set your own deadline I guess for whatever it is whether it's an eventual counting down to or anything really and then it has a little timer so it kind of counts down with you which I thought was so cool and it's such a beautiful beautiful watch so I was so thrilled with this I can't wait to start using it just an amazingly beautiful generous gift Dan also got me something from Jo Malone and I'm a huge, huge fan of Jo Malone. I wear their peony and blush suede scent pretty much every single day and last year he got me a candle in that same scent and this year he got me this gorgeous gift set and it did come with a really fancy festive ribbon which I've since misplaced which is really annoying because I specifically kept it aside for this video and I obviously put it somewhere too safe because now I can't find it. Um, but nevertheless the contents are still pretty amazing. So he got me these three really gorgeous products and two of them are in my favorite fragrance. So the Peony and Blush Spade, including this really lovely body cream, which is just, even the packaging just feels really heavyweight. It's this beautiful glass container. And then the Peony and Blush Suede Clone, but this is in the mini size so I can take it with me in my handbag, which is great because I don't have anything like this. And then finally he got me this body and hand wash and this is actually in the wild bluebell fragrance and apparently this layers really well with the peony and blush suede so I'm going to try using this and then spritzing the clone over it so um, I'm really intrigued to try this out and just such a lovely lovely wonderful gift from Dan. My next gift is from Dan's mum and she really really outdid herself. She gave me this beautiful glitter box and inside she kind of put a pack together of all things that I like and um, so it looks like so and it was just so unbelievably nice and generous and thoughtful of her so the uh, first couple of things are these beautiful candles so they're kind of um, rose shaped and I have two of them and I don't know exactly where I'm going to put them yet but I think these are so gorgeous I don't think I'm ever going to be able to use them just because I think I'm going to be too scared to ruin them um, but I thought these were so so lovely and then um, she also did a bit of snooping on my channel and my blog. Um, so she got all things which she knew that I liked. Um, so I have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which is my favorite lip liner of all time. I was just running low on mine. So the perfect, perfect present. She also got me the Tom Ford uh, lip color in from the, I think it's Lips and Boys collection in the color Addison as well. And then she also got me a Charlotte Tilbury pencil sharpener as well, which is gonna come in very handy because I'm always short of these. 
and then finally she got me the good jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment from Sunday Riley I've been trialing out their skincare um, I got a set from the Sephora VIB cell and this was one of my favorites so it was just so nice for her. I couldn't believe the effort that she went to it's really just incredible and just such lovely lovely gifts and I also got this absolutely amazing gift from my mum and it's from Chanel. A lot of you will actually recognize this item. It comes in this little box. And inside is the beautiful pale pink chevron card holder and a lot of you will recognize this because i am actually giving one of these away although the competition will have ended by the time this video goes up i think it, it's going to end today actually so i need to pick the winner tomorrow um but i gave away this little card holder and also a brooch on my channel competition started a month ago and i actually have the other one right here so I have two of them at the moment which is kind of crazy um, but when I picked that out I knew I wanted a card holder from Chanel I didn't know exactly which one I was gonna get and when I saw that one I was like that's it that's the one and I just fell in love with it I thought it was so so beautiful and my mum knew how much I loved it and so she got me the same one which I just couldn't believe it was so unbelievably generous of her and it's just such a special gorgeous piece so whoever wins that one I will be twinning with and it's really one of the most beautiful card holders or SLGs in general that I've ever seen I think. It just kind of has the little pocket there and you have one card slot right there so it's really simple but it's such a useful size. I have um, one in turquoise and I use it so much it's perfect for little bags and this combination is just stunning so it's just the nicest loveliest gift from my mum um, just so nice of her and yeah just the most beautiful Chanel card holder I think. My last gift is a handbag and it's from Dan, or rather Dan contributed to it. He didn't buy the whole thing, um, but he was nice enough to put some money towards it. And it is the Gucci Marmot handbag. I am so excited about this. It's a pretty famous handbag at this point. I know it's all over Instagram and YouTube. And I was resisting it for a really long time because I thought it was very trendy and I just wasn't totally sure about it. Um, but then I tried it on and that was kind of the game changer for me. I totally fell in love with it. It's such a gorgeous bag and it's really just light and light but still well made I thought so I really really loved it and so Dan was nice enough to help me get it for Christmas I was so excited I didn't open it until Christmas day and it's just totally lovely so I just open it up I'll probably do a proper video on this at some point but I just quickly show you the interior and then inside you have all the kind of Gucci information it's pretty roomy inside and then you also, on the back, you don't have a pocket or anything, but you do have the beautiful heart symbol. So I'm so, so excited about this bag. I can't wait to start using it. I haven't used it yet, mainly because I've been ill at home, um, but as soon as I feel a bit better, I will be taking this out. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am very aware of how fortunate I am to have received such lovely gifts, and more than that, that we were able to spend time with all our loved ones. We saw almost everyone that we're really close to, and we just had the loveliest time. So I hope you were able to do the same, and I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas as well. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I make two videos every week and I would love to have you here. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one when hopefully I won't sound like this. Bye guys.